The cheese industry is caught in the crossfire of U.S. trade disputes with other countries. China is expected to implement new tariffs today on U.S. cheese industry and other sections. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce says retaliatory tariffs against the U.S. threaten about a billion dollars worth of Wisconsin's exports, which include cheese. Dean Reynolds visited the Sartori Cheese Company, where 12 percent of its business depends on exports. This was milk just a few hours ago. Yes. At the Sartori Cheese Plant in Plymouth, Wisconsin, turning humble curds into Parmesan, cheddar and other table favorites is a thing to behold. But these days, in addition to dipping their 20-pound wheels into wine or hand-rubbing them with pepper, an unwanted ingredient is being added to their business, tariffs. The president is focused on helping protect American workers and American industries and create a fair playing field. That's fine, says Jeff Schwager, the president of Sartori Company, but tariffs are the wrong way to reach that goal. I have yet to find an example where tariffs have worked. Uh, for the long-term good of the country that first imposes them. The president's protectionist moves have prompted U.S. trading partners to retaliate with tariffs of their own on such Wisconsin exports as cranberries, apples, and Harley-Davidson motorcycles. American cheese is more expensive to buy now in Mexico and Canada, Sartori's two biggest foreign markets. U.S. dairy exports totaled $5.5 billion last year, including $1.3 billion to Mexico alone. If this is going to go on long term, the customers down there will look for an alternative product without the tariffs on it. Overproduction has already created a glut of milk on the market, driving down dairy prices and threatening some of the 130 family farms on which Sartori relies. Stacy Lindbergh has 75 cows. This is a great time to be a dairy farmer. No, it's not. It, we don't make a lot of money. We're not really making any money at this point in time. The Lindbergh farm produces about 5,000 pounds of milk every day. You can't just snap your fingers and stop that flow. These are animals, after all. We don't know are the companies eventually going to put a limit on how much we can produce per day how much we can ship per day, uh, that's, that's a big if. Stacy voted for Mr. Trump, but wonders why he made trade such a big deal. Do you think he created an issue that wasn't really an issue from your point of view? Right now, yes, and in hindsight, yes. She hopes this may just be a negotiating ploy by the president, and so does Jeff Schwager. Is this a bluff? You know, I, I don't know that it's a bluff, but I, I sure hope there's a strategy behind this. For CBS This Morning, Dean Reynolds, Plymouth, Wisconsin.